Hi everyone, I'm Malia, aka Loca Fly, and welcome to my very first fragrance review channel. Yay! Okay, okay. So let me get right into it. I'm not going to bore you all about all a whole bunch of different extra things. So right from the bat, what we're talking about today is Killian. And that's one of my very favorite fragrances from one of my very favorite uh, fragrance houses. And just to let you know, Killian is actually Killian Hennessy, the grandson of the cognac maker. So just in case you didn't know, he's the grandson of that yak maker, if you didn't know what I was talking about. Hennessy makes fragrances? Yeah. Yeah. He actually does. I, I never, I, I never knew. Yeah, well, now you do. Okay, so the thing to remember about Killian is we're looking at pure perfume and we're looking at very uh, raw materials. What Killian does actually, he wants to go back to the 19th and 20th century of how um, they made fragrances a long time ago and um, he just puts all of his genius into his uh, fragrances and his fragrances are known like a work of art. So that's why they usually call it um, perfume in an art form. Okay, so let's get right down to it. So the one I want to talk about today is actually a limited edition. And this comes from, uh, and some of it, it might not even be out yet in some of these stores. But actually this one is called Love the Way You Taste. Huh? Mm, that tastes wonderful now, didn't it? Okay. So as you can see, clearly it has the green and the red brush strokes. It's a little bit different from the rest of the Killians that come in the coffee set or come with the clutch. This one is based off of Miami's Art Deco district. So like sex and sin in the city and, you know, all of Miami's wonderfulness. OK, let's not get into like the packaging and all that stuff. So pull it out. White box. Definitely perfume as an art. White box smells like a white box. There's nothing really special about that part. So as we take this out here, you can see that it actually comes with a little protective bag. So I guess, you know, for travel and all of Killian's fragrances pretty much are 1.7 or one ounce unless you buy the humongous one. And uh, that's protected, don't do that. So as we see, as we take this out here, okay. So love the way you taste with the green strokes. Now this one is very special because this one, I mean, it's so perfect for Miami because it's supposed to be the fizzy wonderfulness of a mojito. How wonderful is that, right? You love mojitos? I love mojitos. Did you always want to drink one? I want to drink one. You want to smell like one too? Uh, let's see. So this actually opens up with, um, the top notes, refreshing lemon and peppermint straight away. You can smell that. Then the heart of it is actually green leaves and magnolia. Now the base notes are sparkling water and refreshing vetiver. Now how nice is that? Now also just to let you know, it is a little side note just in case you didn't know. Actually the K, actually you would think it stands for Killian, but it actually doesn't. It stands for key that opens the door to where your secrets are unhinged. How about that, huh? All right, so just remember also when you're spraying these fragrances or any fragrance that you have that you don't wanna really like spray too close and it shouldn't be running down. And one thing you definitely don't wanna do, excuse me, you don't want to do, excuse me, tongue tied, is to bruise the notes by crushing them. I know it's hard because it's been repetitive and you've probably been doing that for all your life, but you just wanna kinda like let it land on you and it should mist your skin and air it out. Some people like to create a cloud and walk through it. Just let it develop on your skin. Now, the thing about this fragrance is a little bit different than uh, most fragrances that have citrus in it. Now, most citruses tend to evaporate off of your skin. This one actually has a long lasting longevity and the projection of this is so wonderful. So does it smell like a mojito? That is the big question. And um, it has the crisp refreshingness of a mojito, but trust me, you're not walking around smelling like a bar or a lush or anything like that. It actually reminds me of Melissime Imperial for Creed, but like a little bit more of a toned down version that every single person can wear. And the other thing to let you know about Killian is that all of his fragrances are pretty much uh, shared fragrances. Now, what is shared? Unisex, okay? Shared is the refined way to say it. Unisex is the old school way. So with Killian, we want to say, Shit. Okay. So, um, this one actually has a price point of $185, which is a little bit lower than the rest of Killian's fragrances. And, um, 
Why the price? Well, you pretty much get what you pay for and you're paying for quality. This Overall, I think this is a beautiful fragrance that can be for anyone. Now, if you're not really into citruses, I would tend to steer clear of this one. However, I think it's going to be a scent that's very sexy on men and very exotic on women. But overall, it's like a sexy summertime tonic. How great is that? All right. So um, that pretty much wraps up for Love the Way You Taste. Um, I don't want to bore you and talk too long about anything else. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me and um, I'll be here. You can like, uh, share, please subscribe. You can tap the um, little, you know, the little bell down below for notifications. And um, feel free to ask me anything. Also, if you have any other fragrances that you would want me to review or you have anything like that, I have some good insight and some connections. So please feel free to ask me. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Goodbye.